motions, so I'm just gonna go through motion and show the next back out here. Next and it'd be this one here, which I'm gonna click and record it once. Another good way to spot an obvious bot is at certain bot locations. This spot here is kind of secluded, it's out away from Falador, which nobody goes to because no bank here. But the bot doesn't care. He's gonna get 99 mining and I'd say under one week. Just because he automatically mines the ore and then drops it at the same spot he's at. As you can see, south of Falador, there's no bank around here. There's no bank here, there's no bank there. Pretty secluded, no one comes here. So the bot has nothing to worry about on Members World 39. Except for me. I'm about to report this dumbass bot. If it doesn't respond. <laughs> Type a few times to it, see if it talks. I want to trade it, request assist, follow it around. If it doesn't respond to you for trades or assist, it's an obvious bot. But some bots actually lately trade you, they'll just stand there in the trade window and act like a dumbass. Which, you can also tell it's a bot if they stand there for like 5 minutes not doing shit. So yeah, as you can see, this is the routine of a bot. He drops massive ore, like, all over the fucking place. I guess, like, it'd be a good money way if you, like, pick it up and high out it maybe or something. I'm not sure. I think how he might lose money on that, but yeah. We're getting superheated. <laughs> that might make money. But the point is, these bots just randomly walk around and get 99s, and then they try having fame. The funny thing is, the people that bought these accounts, and they get their 99, they don't know anything about the game. They'll ask dumbass questions. It'd be like level 120s, asking like, where's Remington, you know? So obviously, if they're botting, they're breaking the rules, it's rule 7 from the old system, you're not allowed to bot the game or use programs to play for you. Click this here and remember the guy's name. You might want to type his name out first, so you know. Let's see, dude. Fury. Now you have the name on the screen, you see it. Click report and type that name. Now you can go next and be. Let me clear this off. Macro use of bot. That is botting. Do you want to ignore him? He's not spamming you, so click no. You don't want to ignore him. You just want him banned off the fucking game because he don't deserve to be here. Alright, well, this way of finding bots is a bit more expensive, but uh, I guess it calls for it for the certain case we got going on here. This here is a fire making bot, as you can see. I'm going to show you how you block in a fire making bot using magic logs. Like two rows of this. Go up here like two rows. And you go down here like two rows. Now what we're going to do is follow this guy and see if we can find an open spot. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long, but when he finds a spot that has fire on it, he cannot light a fire where there's already a fire at. So this idiot will go inside and say so you can't light a fire in here. Close the door, and he's trapped. So as you can see, the bot's trapped here. You got his name there, just type it out. Click the report abuse and type it in. So that shows. Click next. And of course, macro use of bot. Ignore list, no. Yeah, that's done. And another way you can trap bots is by setting up a cannon right in the path that blocks all three next to the staff store in Far Rock City. As you can see, that's where I'm at. The uh, staff stuff. It seems this bot likes my familiar. I'm not sure why yet. We keep going right back to it. Let's see. Does it again? I can land him right here. Go right here. He should be clicking on familiar again. I'm just gonna let it fire. <laughs> Dumb bot.
Come on, bot. What are you gonna do? 